Hello everybody. Right, um, um, I've always gone on about, and I stand by it, the importance of getting your own customers. You want your own end user customers because they pay more money. Because if you take jobs on the Courier Exchange, they've got their end user customer and they're going to pay you, but they're not going to pay you everything their customer pays because they've got to take their cut out of it. They've got, which is only fair. They found the customer. They've got heating, lighting, gas, electric, wages to pay, offices to rent, business breaks to pay, you know, so there is a cost involved. So, you know, they're as shippers. They put us on, they give the courier drivers on the exchange their jobs, but they, they, they occur, and they've got to make a profit. Otherwise, what's the point of, what's the point of doing it, you know? Um, so there is an importance getting your own user customer, your own end user customer, because you can charge them on average one and a half to two times what you would charge on a courier exchange job. That seems right. There is a, a video I did with Bennett at um, HBC. He's a shipper. They've got their own trucks as well, but he's a shipper and he outlines what they do. So I would say if you go for about one and a half times, that, that's, that's very competitive. Um, but there are advantages to not having your own end user customers. Now, end users are easy. You know, where you go in, you turn up at the same time every morning, you go to the same place all, a lot of the time, you know, that, you're not going to think, oh, where is it? How do I get? It? But that is both a blessing and a curse, because then it can get a bit dull. If you did the same job every morning, I pick up from Leighton Buzzard and I drive it over to Oxford, then I drive it over to Reading, and then I drive it, and you do the same thing every day. It can become very routine and very boring. Um, also, um, I write this down. I forget, I'm losing me thread here, aren't I? Um, that's right. So. You don't, yeah, so it can get boring. You know, and also, and I think Franz, well, I was having a conversation with him, sorry about this, uh, I was having a conversation with him about it, and um, he pointed out a very, a very important thing, is that you spread the risk a lot more. Because if you've got your own end user customers, say you've got two, three, four of them, and so you do a lot of jobs with one guy, and you spend a lot of money with him, and then why behold him, something it's out of the blue, you know, he's a lovely geezer, but then coronavirus, or the place gets flooded, or something goes up in flames, and he goes, I'm ever so sorry, I haven't got any money. You're out all that dough. The advantage, that was right, the advantages of um, um, the exchange is you'll do a lot of work for a lot of people. You might do a hundred jobs in a month and you could potentially do them for a hundred different people. That massively spreads the risk. Now you've got to wait for your invoices, but you'd have to wait for your invoices anyway. Um, and if one of those guys goes down, it's one in a hundred. It's not one in four. And that is a massive advantage. You know, you want to be wise when you're booking the jobs as well. Check their feedback, check their payments, look at their negatives, all that kind of stuff. That's what it's there for. There's a vetting process. But... You are massively spreading your risk. And 99% of the shippers on the exchange are bona fide. They've been on there a while. Sometimes one of them might hit a bump. Talk to them. Ring them up. Speak to them. Be civil. Try and sort out some terms. It's not the end of the world. Like, you know, a lot of time it might come in a little bit late, but it still comes in. And the other, the third reason is, yeah, you've got to bear in mind also the exchange is predominantly a backload platform. Now, it's all lovely having your own customers. But say you've got a customer in Dunstable and he wants stuff shipping all over the place. So he wants one day to Peterborough, one day to Cardiff, one day to Liverpool. You're not going to have regular customers in Peterborough, Cardiff and Liverpool because you don't work out of Peter, Cardiff and Liverpool. So you are going to be coming back empty from these places. This is where the exchange really comes into its own. If you can get an end user customer that sends you out in the morning for your big money job and then you get your money coming back on the exchange, which hopefully is your bunts, might cover your diesel, your insurance, your wear and tear and all that. Maybe buy yourself a takeaway at the end of the day. That's the way That's the way to make it work properly, if you can make it work properly. The exchange is a wonderful thing. It spreads the cost. It'll get you started. It'll get you knowing. But ultimately, end user customers are still the way forward. But like I say, there are three advantages there for why the exchange, why the exchange can be better than an end user. Um, whether you agree or not, lovely. We'll welcome the comments on the Sunday Q&A as normal. And in the meantime, take care and take money.